Hello everyone, my name is Victor Juhes. I'm the narrative designer and lead writer at Neocore Games, currently for Van Helsing, The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 2. I think Van Helsing is a great character because everyone has some faint ideas about Van Helsing. Who is he? What, what does he do? We wanted to create a monster hunter game first and this is how we ended up, um, ended up with using Van Helsing. Because usually if you hear the name Van Helsing, or we hope so, you will immediately associate and you will think of monsters, monster hunters and um, this is what we really wanted to do like creating a game about a character who is a hero. Monster hunters are heroes, they are saving the day they are fighting against hordes of monstrosities which is I think if you are creating a video game the first, this is the first thing that that's really important to to give a purpose to your to your protagonist and Van Helsing has a very clear <laughs> and evident purpose. Morgovia is a yeah it's a fictional kingdom at the eastern edge of an alternative Europe and it's basically your it's basically your, your dark kingdom at the, at, the, at the rim of the continent, a bit based on, on the Transylvania that's depicted in the classical horror movies. The dark kingdom with crumbling castles and, and monsters and um, dark valleys and small villages where people hide behind closed doors after sunset. It's a mixture of fictional places, a mixture of classical horror movie places, if I could say so, and it has of course some resemblance to to the real Transylvania, but like we have huge mountain range, range we have um, pine forests, so it has some elements from that, that we used, um, that, we were, that we took from reality but it's a mixture. I think the first thing that comes, comes to mind is the main character and his sidekick Lady Katarina. Van Helsing is a monster hunter and Lady Katarina is a ghost lady um, from Borgovia and they are a dynamic duo and I think that this is very I wouldn't say that unique, but I think it has a very special flavor to it. That we have two protagonists who are exchanging witty banters all the time, who are, who are a bit like these copper body shows where you have two very different personalities um, tied together and they have to do things together and they like each other, but still they just can't um, can't refrain from um, making fun of each other, teasing each other, and I think that that the dynamic between these two characters is a very special thing about Van Helsing. A cooperative mode is it will be an opportunity um, for friends, for for gamers to to come together, and we wanted to. Um, create scenarios where they can really fight together and th there are certain elements that will be implemented in this in this cooperative mode um, that will change the gameplay uh, a lot um, so it will be a really unique experience compared to the single player game we wanted to create scenarios where you can choose. So we, we wanted to include um, elements 
where the where players can well first it's uh well they can decide which way to go these um these elements mostly focus on the so-called resistance management as i've mentioned earlier here van helsing apart from being a monster hunter is a sort of a military leader and um he has the chance or players have the chance to um influence a couple of missions throughout the game so i wouldn't say that they don't change the plot as as a whole but they change the outcome of certain events and they give you um i think it's it's a very nice touch that will improve the replay replayability so i think it's fun to see which decisions um you like the best So um the incredible adventures of Van Helsing 2 will be available on May 22. It will be uh 15 euros and it will be available on Steam and I think that anyone who who plays it will have a great adventure.